afternoon, everybody, and happy Father's Day. We are the Two Old Farts. My name's Chuck. And I'm Larry. I'm the better looking of the Two Old Farts. Well, now that you got all your teeth. Yeah, I do look a little better, huh? Show them. Show them your See? choppers. See? Look at them pretty. <laughs> show them. See them pretty little choppers. See? Don't have a space here. No, no gap. Now I have no, I can't complain and use that as an excuse because. You're a snaggle too? I'm missing the space up here. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> we know that. So we're just arguing. I said the speaker on. It don't matter. It doesn't matter, Dad. <laughs> the speaker is not the microphone. That that that's what happens when you get old. Yeah. He used to be pretty tech savvy, but I don't know what happened. What no. happened? <laughs> I'm getting older. I can tell. Golden years aren't so golden anymore. Except when you pee. <laughs> yeah. Except when you go to the bathroom. As long as you don't need any help, you're all right. <laughs> yeah, you're doing pretty good if you don't need any help. So, again, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Um, to all the fathers out there and to all the soon-to-be fathers, congratulations. And all those fathers who are uh, have children who are adopted or that you take care of. I sent you Uncle Leonard the Father's Day thing this morning. Okay. Why? I don't know. He's not a father, right? Not to not to a child. But he is a father to a lot of people. Not on, of... on his wife's side of the family. Exactly. And he is a father figure, yes. There's a lot of those father figures out there who do what fathers supposed to do. Yep, they do. So they need to be recognized too. That's correct. So don't tell your mom because she said, Don't send a letter to one. I said, Okay. But I did anyway. Yeah. Because all husbands don't listen to their wives. Just like Cherry. I sent Cherry Mother's Day. Yep. She's not a biological mother, but she's a mother to a lot of her nieces and nephews and cousins. So yep. Need to be recognized. Yep, we do. We need to recognize that. Yeah. So I understand you're going to be gone for a short period of time. Yep, I'll be, uh, I'll be out of the country for a few weeks for work. So, I mean, I can relax. I don't have to worry about you grabbing my knee. Like that? Like that. And hurting my left hand. That's what you used to do to me when I was a kid. I'm just getting back at you. He used to be like, son, you know how the mule bites the corn? I'm like, no. <laughs> Grab my knee. So now I, I figured it'd be fun i try with him. The mule bites the corn pretty damn hard. He sure does. <laughs> uh, you got to get him like that on the knee. Oh, fighter fossil. That was your uncle Ed's. You fighter fossil, fodder fossil, F O D E R, fodder fossil. Okay, you know what fodder is? Yes, I know what fodder is. What's that? Um, like cannon fodder, like just something out there that can. Nah, so when you show when you, when you harvest all your corn, all those dry leaves, pull them off, and you bend them around, and you use it for um, a broom fodder to feed your horses and cows and stuff like that. Okay, they call it fodder. Okay. That's your history lesson for today. I got to check that out because that don't seem, <laughs> that sounds pretty country to me. It is country. It sounds pretty country. It's called FODER, F-O-D-E-R, or F-O-D-D. I'm not sure how you spell it. Let me see here. But you, we used to get all the leaves off the corn stalks, tie it around, and then you put it back on top of the corn stalk. Some of the food, especially dried hay or feed for cattle and other livestock. See, you know what I'm talking about right. when it comes to country stuff. Yes, so or most of the time, in a way. So food for livestock. Yeah, then you just cut things. Meat. I learned today when you till the ground, you use till those corn stalks and they die and rot and be fertilized for next year. See, I just thought you was a retarded old country boy. I am. I am. You got one right today. Every now and then I get something right. But anyway, that's what Mike's like. Interesting, Mike. Hey, where are we going next week? I don't know where we're going. Oh, we're going to see go Tanya Tucker, right? Yeah. Where we're going? We're going out to uh, the Roundup. No. It must be Flores. It must be Flores. I thought she was going to be at the Roundup. No, sir. Or she's going to be at the Roundup. No. I think she is. No. 
I think you're thinking of Pam Tillis. I know, no, I'm thinking about Tanya. I thought, thought I saw her uh, at the roundup too. Maybe. No, I know we're going to the floor. But... John T. Floors Country Store. Yeah. But I think she also, I think she's going to make that appearance. At the... No, sir. Check it out. Oh, my God. Check it out. You're going to die on this hill, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to die on this hill. So while I'm looking this up, why don't you keep talking? Um, tell them what we had for lunch today. Oh, tell them man. what you fixed. Well, it would have been good if I had finished cooking it, but he cooked it so it wasn't as good as but it had the master touch. We had hamburgers. you full of shit. <laughs> we had sausage, had potato salad. We uh, had, uh, I've had better potato eggs. salad. I think that one had eggs in it. I don't think, I think so. it did. Well, if it is, I can't taste it, so it's all right. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but potato salad came from Smoky Motors. So they do a pretty good job. They're my special baked beans. Yep, they, those are really good. Yeah. And then uh, we had, uh, I haven't had it yet, but we've got to go try the, the jalapeno cheese with the brisket. Yep. I had one of them. Was it pretty good? Yeah. Is that it? Is that her? No. No. Is that, him? Is that her? No. That her? No. That her? No. That her? No. Her? No. No. Keep going. Uh, I thought, yeah, you thought wrong. When are you going to not doubt me? I don't doubt you. I just, I've just i been right all the time. Right. Every, everybody thought you were older than Harrison Ford. I feel like you're probably older. <laughs> you look older, but he's older than you. Yeah, he's what? 80? 80, 80 years old. Well, you're different. Well, it's not much. Well, you're not 79 yet. Well, I will be shortly. Okay. About another month and a few days. Two months. Month and a half. About a month and a half. That is what? 24th? Or 18th? Oh, my God. You can't map or the shit. No. Uh, 18th, so 18 and 7. So in just under a month, I will yeah. turn 53. 7. That's right. Your sister's going to be 53. So you're going to be 57. See, I told you I'm getting old. Yeah, my calculator's not working. And, and if I'm getting old, that means my oldest daughter, Kaylee, is getting old. Because she every time she calls me, she's like, what's up, old man? <laughs> you know what's funny? You and me. I don't even think I'm old. I don't either. But when I see my grandkids, I still think of them like 19 and 20. I don't know. Even though they're 35 or 40. Or Kaylee's, well, I shouldn't say how old she is, but, but she's in her mid-30s. But they get at that, that age, and I still think they're like McKenzie's age. Yeah, yeah, she's 20. Yeah. So. But I can do that. What, be retarded? Yep. And forgetful? And I can think whatever I want to think. I, I don't think I'm old. I see pictures of people my age, and I'm like, damn, they look old. And then I look in the mirror, and I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> You're right. I don't think I look old, at least not over here. The mirrors and the pictures don't lie. I hate mirrors, man. <laughs> mirrors and scales, they all tell lies. <laughs> yes, they do every day. Every day. <laughs> Burn all the mirrors and the scales in the house. Yep. Ban them all. They're evil. That's like that song, I Don't Go Around Mirrors, right? I don't know that song. Yeah, those are countries. But it's not talking about being eight. You're talking about something else. Okay. So I go around mirrors. I don't go around mirrors. Okay. Whatever. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you're talking about his girlfriend or his ex wife and well, what's a mirror got to do with it? Looking at the mirror and see himself and all that kind of stuff. And what he had. Oh, okay. It must not be a good country song if you have to explain it to me like that. <laughs> well, that's probably an old one. It still must not be that good of a country song. So anyway. But I digress. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, happy Father's Day to everybody. It's Sunday. Feeling kind of full, kind of fat. We yeah. had some burgers. We had some sausage. We had some jalapeno poppers. We had potato salad. Potato salad. Your world-famous baked beans. beans. I haven't had some dessert cake. I haven't had the dessert yet. That was pretty good. I've been nursing on a couple of beers. Well, I want to tell you what. What? 
things are expected. I understand why people are complaining about the economy. When your mom and I went to HEB yesterday, I saw a cake we like, thirty dollars. So, I don't know how boy, people. I don't know how people are doing it right either. now. Either I don't know how people are making ends meet. So we bought this smaller one. wasn't a whole lot cheaper, but it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It so, it things is tough out there. They were it was really tough out there. So, so if we could be a small blessing to you, make you laugh a little bit, then you know we're we're thankful for you. Yeah, we need to give a shout out to uh, Uncle Gene, Uncle Ray, in heaven. To your grandfather and yeah. both your grandfathers, both of them, yeah, and uh, all those other good folks, all our comrades in DAB, uh, all the people I've worked with, our veterans. Yep. Yeah. Hope everybody has a good Father's Day, and Peter and uh, Michael and Bobby. And yeah. Speaking of the DAV, remember I told you in February I filed my claim to get uh, my sinusitis and rhinitis added to my um, disability uh -huh. from my exposure to burn pits. It's been five months and I still haven't gotten it done yet. It's completed. It's still sitting there at gathering evidence. And it will probably take about two years. They're so far behind and short staffed. They were short staffed when I retired and I still got my disability rating done in two months. They, they won't blame me on COVID, but I like it. COVID's been over for a minute. Yeah, so. Like people just uh, like five uh, months should take that long, and then in a week I'll have my pulmonology test. Yeah, we've got fingers crossed for that. Well, they saw it on the X-ray that I have it, so you know, pretty sure that I have it. But the pulmonology test will confirm it okay. and then let me know the severity of it. So just remember, next week, uh, whenever you go to Germany, no more cigars. No more cigars. You go to the bars and enjoy your food, enjoy your beer. Just leave the cigars alone. Yep. Yeah. I may have to change my um, my veteran service group from Texas Vets to the DAV and have some of my guys that we are in our chapter take a look at my case and see where it's at in the process. I just have to fill out a... Uh, uh, what do they call it? Power of attorney, right? right to get right. them. I'd probably have to do that. Do you know at uh, Lackland, they have a transition service office. I didn't know that. DAV does. I didn't know that either. Yeah, they have a transition service officer to help uh, when you transition uh, with the disability and stuff like that. I know at the old Wolford Hall, there was an office that uh, Texas veterans had an office in yeah. that a lot of people would go to when they were retiring or getting out yeah, for but, help. But the DAV has a transition. We have one there. And I think there's one at Fort Hood. Yeah, there, there should be one yeah. at Fort Hood. Well, I guess it's not Fort Hood anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the hell it's called uh -huh. anymore. I thought it should have been called uh, Fort Benavides because of Joe Ben Benavides. Roy Benavides. That was Joe. Not Roy. The, the Green Beret from Vietnam. Fort, yeah, from San Antonio. Roy Benavides. I want to say they named it after he's the first general officer, first four-star general officer in the in the military, first Hispanic four-star general officer. Fort Hood is named Fort Cavazos, Cavazos. for General Richard Cavazos. Yeah, he was a uh, first Hispanic four-star general, right? Uh, the Army's first Latino four-star general. So, but Roy Benavides, is, I think he's from San Antonio, or at least he lives in San Antonio. That's who it should have been named after, in yep, my opinion. I agree. He was a real hero. I mean, we got too many fourths named after generals. We need some named That's after it. NCOs. Yep. They're the ones who get it done. Them and the war officers. Well, like I said, he was Green Beret in Vietnam, and he yeah. got the Medal of Honor. I mean, that if that ain't badass enough, I don't know what is. Yeah. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was pretty active here in San Antonio. He was, with, with, with the DAV and the VFW, yeah. maybe even the American Legion. I don't know. Yeah. So, But you're right. We need to, we need to 
there's a lot of those heroes out there that we need to give them their, their just dues. Yep. So, again, if you guys need any help or know anybody that is a veteran that is struggling or whatever, reach out to us on the socials, on our Facebook page, on the Two Old Farts, uh, the Two Old Farts dot com. We're on Twitter, would, Instagram. We go to Joseph M. Early, DAV Chapter 14. You can go there. You can look up D, uh, yeah, DAV Chapter 14 on Facebook uh, for, is it Joseph M. Early? Joseph M. Early. E A R L E Y. Right. And, yeah, I mean, even though we're in Texas and you can be in Alaska or Canada, doesn't matter. We'll we'll help you. Right. Yeah, we got one. We'll put you in the right spot. Uh, Houston, I'm trying to find a place to direct him where he can go to a DAV that's close to him. All right. He, he's on our list. We have a 58 page list of members. of members here in the San Antonio area. He was on that list, but he's he's moved, moved, and he lives up by Houston. When I say Houston, that's the closest big city, big city to him and yeah. stuff like that. So we're trying to find a post that's close for him uh, to help him. But even then, if he needs some help, we can still help him on the phone or whatever. So and where were we last week? We went to the roundup last week. We went to the roundup. Who did we go see? I don't remember now. You don't remember? It's just a damn week ago, you <laughs> old fart. Uh, I don't remember who we saw. They're not brothers. Yeah. But it says brothers. brothers but yeah. The Bellamy brothers? The Bellamy brothers, yeah. You know who I heard on the, on the, uh, the Willie Nelson? Uh, Actually, that right? was two weeks ago, wasn't yeah. it? Willie Nelson, uh, XM Radio. Charlie Crockett. I never heard of them play any of his music. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm going to miss that concert because I'll be out of the country. Yeah. So we have uh, Pam yeah, Tillis yeah. coming up. Yeah, we've got Pam Tillis. You, um, you, Mom, and Brenda, I guess, will go to see Charlie Crockett. And um, um, God, what the hell is that guy's name? So, God, I can't remember shit now. <laughs> Are you getting old like me? feel like it. I don't remember nothing. So, Charlie Robinson. Charlie Robinson, yeah. And Jason Bolden and the Stragglers. Right. That's who's on my birthday. Yeah. That's right. You're going to be going on your birthday. I didn't think about that. Yep. But you'll be having fun anyway. I'll be in Germany. <laughs> yep. So, that's, that's, that's going to be a good trip for you and some memories. And yeah. Back to my old stomping grounds. Yeah. So, did two tours over there. You just, you just can't be doing what you did before. What? Smoking them cigars, <laughs> drinking them beers. I'll be drinking the shit out of them beers, <laughs> and I'll be eating the shit out of some schnitzel. <laughs> you can bank on that. Right. Maybe some currywurst, some bratwurst. There you go. All the stuff that I'm Schweinebrot, Rouladen. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. You would if you'd been there. <laughs> exactly. But anyway. Man, we ain't got much to talk about, do we? No. <laughs> this day's one of those days you just... I feel like taking a nap. <laughs> That's a chair. I know, man. I must be getting old because I never want to take a damn nap. It reclines. Man. You got the fan right above yeah, you. Yeah, we haven't even hit 20 minutes. I'm about ready to pass out. I can't remember nothing. Uh, I'm thinking about dessert. I, already had my, I know you did. I offered you saw you. I wasn't ready yet. I, I got to work up to it. So I'll, I'll probably go have another sausage here in a minute. Color me shocked. Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure we give a shout out to you, Aunt Carolyn. We didn't, we didn't mention her last time. When uh -huh. we went over 30 minutes. Yeah. We did not mention Aunt Carolyn. No. Then happy Father's Day to her husband, Phil. My dog, our... And to my cousin, Eric. Uh, yeah. And uh, David and uh, Buddy and, uh, and Jimmy. And Tommy, Tommy. Son, my ex-son-in-law, and uh, Peter, yep, my son-in-law. Yep. Then... Uh, all of our family and friends. 
Yep. Oh, and to you. Nah, I don't count anymore. You're still my dad. <laughs> yeah. You're one half of the two old farts. That's right. You're the better looking. The better looking. The, the better two looking of two old farts. At least that's the lies you tell everybody. That's right. That's the one I believe in. Okay. So. I've got to a point at this age of my life, I don't really give a shit about too much of anything. I don't give a shit either. That's the good thing about being this age, isn't it? <laughs> Your mom gets mad at me. I said, I don't care. You better care. Okay, I care. <laughs> but I, I care that I don't care. Exactly. I care about that. Yep. Well, you know, since I'm dragging this thing out, man, is there? No. I will just hang it hang up. Hang it up. <laughs> Let you go take a nap or whatever the hell I don't you know what do. the heck it is, man. <laughs> Being out in that damn heat cooking. That take, and we were doing it in the shade. This idiot wanted to grill sausage in the sun. We got a big old shade tree right over here, like 10 feet away. And I'm like, Dad, why is this out in the sun? He goes, dude, dude we're grilling. We've got to do it out yeah, in the sun. I'm like, the hell we cooks. do? It cooks. You walk over the shade. No. Tree, you your beer, you no, pull back. I, that, and I, I drug that damn grill to the shade. But who put a fan out there? You did. That's right. But who moved the grill to the shade? Yep. Yeah. That's because I asked you to. You did not. You were <laughs> damn why. Full of shit. What is this thing? Is it pet putty? No. It's putty. It's for me to do this. Exercise my thumb. The surgery I had. Okay. That makes sense. I used to take it out, but your mom said, why don't you just do it this way? So. Why don't you get a tennis ball? I had to. And squeeze a tennis ball. Probably will. Or a racquetball. That would be a good thing. I still have some problems with that. My physical therapist said six months. She's right. It's coming up on six months. July 2nd, Thursday, seven somewhere around that'll be six months. See how much looks bigger than this one? Mm -hmm. It's swelling, right? Swelling. I, I got the feeling in it, but they, you know, they took out this bone and, and they took out, they got a, they put a plate in there. So I guess that's what's making it look bigger. Only time I have any, I've been, I've been using like I normally do, except if I'm cutting grass, something like that, I put that splint on. Right. You know, but uh, so I don't, I don't use it too much, but so. But the scar is almost gone. You can't hardly see the scar. It's just see right in there. So yep. you, you're talking and you're showing me, but they can't see nothing, man. <laughs> no, they don't care. Well, we got to pretend that they care. <laughs> okay, all, all <laughs> ten people. Oh but, man, I didn't. You didn't ask me how many people had had downloaded. None of it. I hadn't checked it in a while. Let me see. But I give a shout out to Dr. Coleman. He did a, an excellent job. And uh, Karina, my uh, physical therapist at the Baptist Health System, she was, was awesome. She, uh, twice a week, I'd go in and see her do the physical therapy. We had three from Canada so far. Right. This month. All from Ontario. 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 Oh. In the United States. Florida, New Jersey, California, Washington, D.C., Ohio, Tennessee, Virginia. I said Texas, too, right? Yeah. Okay. How many total we got? Uh, not that many. Total, 2,637. Okay. 33 downloads in the last 30 days, so about one a day on yeah. average. We suck ass. <laughs> Maybe we need to find something to talk about. I don't, I don't know, know, man. Or find something better to talk yeah. about. We, we, I don't know. Maybe we could talk about TV shows or something that we're watching. <laughs> Just don't go and get into politics, huh? Well, yeah, I, I want to try to steer away from that. I mean, there's plenty enough people in that space that talk about politics. and So if the people that are listening to us lean one way or the other, I don't want to piss them off. They, I don't want to get into it. Everybody, it don't. No, I mean... As long as you get out and vote, I don't care who you vote for. I really don't. I, I That's the most important thing. If you vote, you got a right to complain about your elected officials 100% because you exercise your right to vote. But if you don't vote, you, you get don't what complain. you get what you vote for. Yes. Right. I'm with you. I don't care who you vote for as long as you go vote. You need to vote your conscience. Yep. I agree with that. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. But well, I think we're at a good spot. We're at 25 minutes now. Yeah, we're going to. We're getting close there. Yeah. You and Carolyn will keep me. If we go over 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah she'll, she'll be. So well, we might as well call it then. Sounds like a winner. All right, everybody. We'll next time. Yep, next time. All right. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Enjoy your Sunday. We're the 2 farts. My name's Chuck. I'm Lou. Better look at the 2 farts. Y'all have a happy Father's Day. Get, enjoy your holiday off tomorrow. Yes, Juneteenth. Yeah. Very important holiday. So. Take care, and we'll talk to you down the road. Wave bye-bye like they do on Hee Haw or something. <laughs> I can do on Hee Haw. <laughs>